Hello, everyone. Previously on T Man 978. To be doing Astro Bot by Toy Notch, Athenia. One of the first female figures they've released in this line. In fact, she is the first female. But, uh. T Man 978. Chill Review. Hey there, everybody. It's T Man 978. I hope y'all having a wonderful day. Or not. <laughs> but this is. New Age Triton and Trimmer. It is a sea spray and a sea spray repaint. I don't know nothing about this guy besides he was a Diaclone original paint job that we didn't get in a catalog. I wasn't able to find anything else as far as an official name on this. I know somebody knows what the official name is supposed to be or alleged to be. Put that in the comments, will you please? Thank you so much. And look at that. They only put sea spray on the back because they know that's all we care about. And now they're forcing us to buy a repaint and spend more money than we would have to. Thank you, New Age. Before I forget, Matt McCardle let me hold these. Thank you so much. Parts former. And fun fact, I'm the reason why Deluxe enunciates having a beautiful day or night because I made fun saying it sounds like he's saying, or not. Which I wouldn't be mad at, because that would be funny. Have a beautiful day, or not. But any old who, I'm using Ultra Zoom right here, which is still clear. But my arm, I had to stretch out so far. I'm just going to let you see the details, and then I'm going to go back to my normal lens. But look at this. This thing looks awesome. It looks better than some third party efforts that have come out. It is great. It is superb. Only thing missing is an Autobot logo, which I'm guessing Parts Former didn't put on because you can have them look like this if you want. And in vehicle mode, maybe the Autobot logo would be upside down to him. But I would just make it put it the right side up right here and then and hovercraft mode it'll be what it is um now here is blue guy trimmer who has more of a see-through visor right there it doesn't have like individual eyes so there's the difference right there and the face has a line in it lines in it just like the original toy it has smoky windows down there instead of blue yellow paint on the side instead of no paint at all and he looks like this from the back they both come with water effects we're gonna see when they transform and they both have the same gun that looks like oh sh crap they have this gun right here which looks like the typical bumblebee style gun which must be blue plastic and yeah black let me go find this thing and here we are while we're showing things off here is one of my more cartoon accurate sea sprays this is the fans toys version and even this look at that this got that better he has like this big gap right there that i don't remember did i transform this right because i swear maybe did i just overlook that because i didn't care until now that I seen how it can be done. Well, yeah, it's, it's still good. But I'll bring him back in vehicle mode. Look at, look at fans toys. Tighten the screw up. Anywho, this thing, one thing I wish this could do is move this back further to get out the way to make the head easier to grab because this head is tiny. It can look all the way the F up. That is crazy. I can it tail choke side to side just a little tiny bit but of course it can rotate the arm goes out to the side the arm does this it's on a ball joint it's on a swivel right there and it bends 90 degrees the wrist doesn't uh, maybe a little bit under 90 but he's pudgy the wrist don't do anything because look where it's at in relationship of this pen right there so you can't do that. He has a waist swivel. And guess what? He has a friggin' ab crunch due to the transformation. And he can like crunch backward. 
Freaking sea spray with an ab crunch at all with this body and the ability to look back, I mean, go back. Now the problem is because of the positioning, you can't really like turn and look back or turn and use the ab crunch so much, but it is what it is. You kick out 90 degrees, kick back 90 degrees, kick forward 90 degrees, and because of that ab crunch, we can kick up really high. We can bend 90 degrees. You can swivel, right? No, you can't swivel because it gets, this covers the thigh when you bend the, the knee 90 degrees, but it does have a swivel due to the transformation. And then you have ankle pivot, super duper ankle pivot. I don't think it, it doesn't come forward or backwards, but you get super ankle pivot due to the transformation. Here's what it looks like with the gun. Pow, 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 pow. Shoot, 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 shoot. I really like this guy. But, um, let's put his gun in the opposite hand because this is his evil doppelganger. And since he's a doppelganger, he does things differently. And I'm just noticing he has more differences. Like the little thing right here that's connected to the propellers they're shaped like rockets where these are nubby I didn't notice that until now everything else besides the face seems to be the same let's bring in the ultra zoom again he's taller than this new age insecticon who is very tiny he's that tall next to a masterpiece skids if I'm not mistaken this is new age cosmos this is a Marvel Legends stature. This is an Astrobot, since we've been doing them. A Core Class and a Deluxe. Core Class is the original Legend scale, but this is a mini bot, so he should be smaller. And that's all I'm gonna show y'all. Transformation is super easy, and I'm not gonna finish that quote to make you feel unsatisfied. Anywho, take this gun out of his hand if you have it in the hand. We can take the back of his forearms and flip it over his hand on both sides. Bring the arm down and rotate it out so that this roundness can match on both sides. Leave it like that. Straighten the head. Go ahead and open this back. Push the head on that panel back like that. Don't shut anything. We can grab these heels right here. Rotate it on the ball joint. Push it down. See this little peg? It goes up into that hole. Squeeze that together. And this close by itself. And uh, lift this up. Spin this around. Put it down. And yeah, get that like that basically. Now, the knees need to bend around. That's why they swivel. And then the foot needs to use that ankle pivot and go all the way upside down all the way upside down. Now we bend the knees sort of backward or whatever. Shut that together. But this peg right here, in that the ab crunch needs to shift up inside of the body so that this peg can go through this hole that's in his back. Once we do that, we can flip this around. We could honestly have flipped that around at any point, but lift this up and now these arms can match up with that peg. They can't match up with these pegs and the peg hole until you flip this part up with the thrusters on it. Go in there. And as you can see now on the last freaking step, it fights me. But here he is. He's a hovercraft and it's a cute, cute little hovercraft. I love it. I love this figure. I need to buy my own or I need to relocate and make sure that Matt can't get this back <laughs> but there's another peg hole in his booty we can put this on there and now he is swimming by with the water effect and of course you can take this gun and put it into this little port they only gave him one because he only comes with one gun and now he can hovercraft like hovercrafts do. 
And shoot people, this is what the back of that looks like. I mean, I, I think when I turned the head around originally, the first time I transformed this, I think it bumped into the stuff and got a, gotten away. And as you can see, I'll mention this, this white is a pearlescent, just like x bots fast. It's not just straight up white. And let's bring out this guy, Trimmers. He has a more smoky water effect right there. Because maybe he's in dirty water. Or maybe he's just from the Mirrorverse and everything's different over there. But, yeah, the colors look nice, but... <laughs> He ain't sea spray, so my level of caring is just very, very low. And then I show off that D spin. I'm not sure if they are die cast or not. I feel like they are, but I'm not gonna squeeze it too hard to find out. Well, yeah, if it does have die cast, that would be the only thing that's die cast. It does have the metal pins and whatnot. Now, let me get Cosmos transformed again. He's kind of complicated. All right, here they are against an Insecticon and a spaceship. Here they are against a Fans Toys Hovercraft, which is way long. This has me questioning. I can't remember whether whether he was chibi in the cartoon or was it actually long like a real hovercraft would be. I have a feeling it was chibi because they were really toy accurate in season two. There they are versus a stature again. And the skids. Still little. But anyway, those are, I, I like both modes. But I assume somebody wants to see me transform it back because somebody out there needs help. Anywho, we can grab at, try to grab at the base or as close to the peg as possible to pull that off. And let's aim this down again. We could take this gun out and we could remove the arms from the side. We can lift this back up. We can rotate this around again to give them a dumpy tubby look. And we can open up the back right here and pull the body back down. We could split the legs. We can bring the knees down like this and rotate the feet back around and then we can rotate the legs around at the knees I swear to beans every time I'm recording somebody got a yell in the background but we can detach I lift that up detach this whole panel right there flip it around and then it get, just basically goes into place down there Let's do that again. I'm bringing this down, which unpegs it. Lifting this up, lift that up, spin it around, and then put it down. And back here, we can push the head up, shut the back, shut this panel behind the arm, bring the arms down, shut this panel, bring the arms down, and we are back in business this guy's a robot imagine that I did all of that same stuff with this guy right here BAM there he is there he is he's transformed anywho I love both of these and I can suggest them but I think magic's coming I mean, new age is kind of high for things this small if I would get them it will probably be on show Z or somewhere as cheap as possible because they are they're very very cool but they are tiny I mean they I mean once you get them in hand you won't be mad at the money you spent but yeah you're, you're still spending that money and in these times it's you, you got to start thinking about the money you're spending anywho thank you for watching thank you Matt parts former until next time T-Man 978, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the video.
videos, click the f***ing videos, baby, click, click the videos, you should really click the videos, click, click the videos, click the f***ing videos, baby, click, click the videos, you really should click those videos, click the